Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. 19 September, Saturday of the week of Pentecost 15. The reading, Malcolm Muggeridge, M-U-G-G-E-R-I-D-G-E, 1903-1900, from a sermon, Am I a Christian? I have one hero, a man called Paulinus, who was born in the first century and who came to realize that his civilization was crashing to destruction. He decided the only thing he could do was to keep a light, a lamp, and a particular shrine, and that's what he decided to do. It seems to me that's all one can do, and that in answer to this ill omen materialistic view of life with this fantastic machine of persuasion behind it, the lamp should say to people that the opposite is true. That as the Christian religion taught originally, so it remains true that men can't live by bread alone, that men have to die in the flesh to be reborn in the spirit, that men are not creatures of production whose existence can be measured by what they can produce or by what they can learn, but a family with a father in heaven, and that the relationship between men is a relationship of brothers, and that each of them, in that he is loved by the father, must be in all senses the equal of every other. However, he might differ in capacity or intelligence or beauty or anything else. All these things the lamp would say. It seems to me absolutely clear there is only one answer to the deepening dilemma of contemporary materialism, and that is essentially the answer set forth in the Christian religion, namely, that men can never become natives of this earth, and if they ever succeeded in so doing, then only would the light of their divinity be finally put out in them. And the prayer. Theodore Parker, 1810-1860. O thou who coverest thyself with light as a garment, even the true light which lighteth every man coming into the world, shine thou in us, putting to flight all the powers of darkness and guilt of sin and selfishness. Shine also through us to any that live in shadow and so fill us with thy radiant spirit that we may be a lamp unto a neighbor's feet and a light unto his path. And when this day is done, may every face we have met be the brighter for our meeting and every heart braver with new joy and cheer and grace and strength. For in thee, O Lord, is life, and thy life is the light of men. Amen.